Hello, everyone. There is a supernova in the bright nearby galaxy, M101. Greg spotted this post in his Twitter feed this morning. A supernova in a close galaxy is likely going to be a bright one, bright enough to see visually in amateur telescopes. There is also this posting, and if we follow the link, we can see the spectrum of this new star that has suddenly appeared. Note that there was no star there in the past. And here is the spectrum. Stars usually show absorption lines, which look like dips. This star has strong emission lines that look like spikes. These big ones are hydrogen emission lines. Based on their analysis of the spectrum, this is a type II supernova, which is due to the collapse of the core of a white dwarf star. They mention at the bottom that this would represent the closest core collapse supernova found in the past several decades. They compare it to supernova SN 2017 EAW, which reached magnitude 12.8 and was farther away. But this one should be brighter. Accounting for the difference in distance suggests that it will peak at about magnitude 12.4, which should be fairly easily visible in a 4-inch telescope from the suburbs. Let's jump into Sky Tools and open the current Bright Novi and Supernovae list. This list is updated frequently with the latest supernovae. I'll sort the bright ones to the top, and there it is. SN2023 XIF, currently magnitude 14.4, but likely still brightening. It's in the galaxy M101, and this is great news for Northern Hemisphere observers. M101 is currently high in the northern sky in the evening, well-placed for observing at this time of year. Here it is in the Sky Tools nightly planner as seen tonight, from a Bortle 6 site near Trenton, New Jersey. I have a 12.5-inch F5 daub selected. You can see it's high in the sky. The red line is the altitude during the night. This green area is the time period that provides the highest quality view. It is currently calculated to be very challenging in that scope, mostly due to the light pollution, and also it's still pretty faint, magnitude 14.4. It should get easier in the coming days and weeks. If we open the object information, we can see that we have only the discovery magnitude of 14.4. As it becomes brighter, more measurements will appear here, and Sky Tools will fit those measurements to a typical light curve for a Type II supernova, which will allow it to predict how bright the supernova will be in the future. Let's open a finder chart for this telescope. In the naked eye view, we can see that M101 is high in the sky. We can easily find it by making an equilateral triangle with the two stars at the end of the handle of the Big Dipper. In the eyepiece, we see it is located off-center from the galaxy. This galaxy is large and spread out, so it is quite faint, especially from a light-polluted location. You will need to match the stars to find the supernova. Let's switch to a higher magnification eyepiece and we can now see it as a faint star next to this brighter one. Start by finding this star, and then use averted vision to look for the supernova near it. Remember, it should get brighter over time, and when it does, it should be bright enough to easily see in a much smaller telescope. Clear skies, and thanks for watching.